good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE Elite figure images and news for you guys coming at us. We had some random drops on us yesterday, and I honestly feel like because of my boy Unstable1047 or Christian, I do believe he was the one that either found the photos or somebody that he knows found the photos. A huge shout-out to my boy Christian for the information here. And then they ended up posting them, so I'm not sure if he found them first and then they posted or, or what the deal was or maybe they got leaked in the forums. I'm not exactly the sure of the case, but I do know that Christian did post them up first, so I wanted to give some shout-outs to him there. But today, guys, we have some epic figures. I can't wait to dive into them, so let's go ahead and get started with it. Let's go ahead and dive into Elite Series 84 Buddy Murphy. You guys know the last Buddy Murphy we got was Elite Series 72, and bringing it up, it is going to be the Disciple attire or the Monday Night Messiah gear. And I'm a big Buddy Murphy fan, so this looks great. I am excited for it. One thing you will notice immediately is that it seems that the knee pads are going to be painted onto this guy. If you guys can look right there, it looks like the knee pads are super weird. It's like in the front, there's nothing, but then if you look at the sides, you can see where the, the straps are supposed to come, the back of the legs there. So I'm not sure what that's about. I'm not sure if it's going to be a Kofi Kingston decade of dominance situation going on, or if we're actually going to get the knee pads like we've gotten with Seth Rollins in the past, but this looks great. I'm a big Buddy Murphy guy. Only thing I don't like is it's the same head sculpt. It pretty much seems like the exact same figure we got with his last figure, except it's painted full tights legs now instead of his weird shorts mold that he used to wear. Like, it looks like the parts are pretty much the same, except for the thighs, of course. You got the same crotch, you got the same arms, you got the same everything here, which is, you know, typical for another figure you get, but I would love to see a different head sculpt, to be honest with you, but if you missed out on the Chase variant black version of Buddy Murphy's Elite 72 figure, then that would be great. It also comes with the Monday Night Messiah t-shirt, so your Seth Rollins fix-ups are going to be going wild. If Buddy Murphy's in Elite Series 84, I would guess that Seth Rollins has to be in Elite Series 83 or 84. Wouldn't you think that would be the case? So I, I think that could be something that we look forward to, but Buddy Murphy is our first figure. I like it. I know a lot of people missed out on the first Buddy Murphy, so this is a good time to possibly cash in on it. So when it goes up for pre-order on Ringside, guys, you definitely want to put in your pre-order using promo code MDTOYS so that you get that pre-order in. You don't miss out on Buddy Murphy, and you have to pay ridiculous aftermarket prices. So let's move on to the next figure, guys. We have Elite Series 81 Shinsuke Nakamura, and for this one, we have two different versions. He is the Chase variant in this set, and it's going to be in this red and black gear, and then we have the blue and black gear, and I would love to know down in the comment section below which gear you guys like more. I don't know what it is about this figure. He is going to come with the Intercontinental Championship, by the way, which we'll get into for a sec, but this figure looks very weird to me. I don't know exactly what it is. It's like the neck or something is really tall, and then the shoulders are super wide. I know the Shinsuke Nakamura figures are usually kind of weird in proportion anyways, but it just kind of seems like his neck to head to shoulder ratio and the way the torso looks, how it's like tight fitted, but it molds to his stomach a little bit like it's tight fit. I don't know. It's very odd. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. I do like the long black wrist tape arms and the sleeveless look for this blue and black gear. Just a quick little editor's note, guys. I don't think I put this in the video, but the blue version is going to be the regular version and then the black and red and white version will be the chase variant. So if you guys were wondering, I don't think I addressed it in the video, so I didn't want to get on here and address it real quick. So the blue version will be the standard release and the chase variant will be in the black, red, and white, which is good news to me. I like that. I like the blue gear more, so that works out for me. Now back to the video. I like the Survivor Series type, you know, Smackdown armband on there. I like everything going on with that, but I think a really cool fix up for this guy would be doing a torso swap with another Shinsuke Nakamura to give him, you know, just the regular Shinsuke torso, and then you would have a full you know, black and blue pants gear, similar to our Survivor Series, but kind of flip-flopped. And then you could just put the blue entrance gear that we got with the Survivor Series figure on there as well. He's got like a longer hair mold. You guys can let me know which, you know, style you like. Better you like the black and red. You could also do that same fix-up. Do a torso swap with that one and then have him in just the regular black, red, and white pants. But I don't know. This is a very interesting figure. I'm very curious to see what the rest of the wave looks like. It's not like the head sculpt is bad. I don't think it's as good as his Elite 63 figure. I think that's probably the best damn Shinsuke head sculpt you could ever find. I'm not sure. It's it, You guys can let me know what you think of that, like, neck area. It just looks a bit odd to me. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but maybe you guys can help me out. But he is going to come with the Intercontinental Championship, and that is big news because we need to add that to our, our collections. Like, we, we've been missing an Intercontinental title for a while, the updated Intercontinental title. I think the people uh, really prefer the white version better, but, you know, it's a new championship, so we got to get it in the belt collection for our figures, so we have it for updated stuff. But anyways, guys, that does it for Shinsuke Nakamura. Let's move on next to our Walmart exclusive collector's edition figure of Davy Boy Smith. Now this figure looks pretty solid. I think a lot of people, flashback collectors, are going to get a lot of usage and good stuff out of this. This is the Elite 82 collector's edition Walmart exclusive Davy Boy Smith figure. And this looks good, man. 
again, I like the white pants. I like the, the boots going on. You do include, you not only get the dog, but you also get his, his leash there with the chain and everything. And I think this is a good head sculpt. I think the figure's proportions look good. I, I really feel bad for flashback collectors because I don't know if I have a ton of flashback collectors here on the channel, but I feel very terrible for, you know, flashback collectors. That it's really hard to get your hands on these collector editions figures, man. Like, it seems like a lot of the flashbacks come in collector's editions. And I don't know about you guys, but my collector's editions are like, I, I cannot find them. Like, I've only found like one or two. We've discussed this before. I've only found one or two ever at retail. And the rest of them, you know, they just shoot up in price on eBay and you got to pay an arm and a leg for them. Unless you just like that. I know some people just like the thrill of the hunt, which is great. I love going on toy hunts myself. But when you don't hit out of 250 trips to Walmart, it's like, Jesus Christ. I guess that makes the, you know, the 251st where we finally get the figure that much sweeter. But at the same time, I feel like if you only collect flashbacks, it's very hard for you to track these figures down. But you guys can let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. Speaking of flashbacks, guys, we are moving on to the Elite 81 Collector's Edition Walmart exclusive. And it's going to be Mae Young. Now, this is a figure that I've always really wanted. You know, we've gotten one figure, I think, of Mae Young from Jax. And that figure was really cool. I like the head sculpt on this. I think they did a really good job capturing the likeness of Mae Young. I think it's hilarious. Maybe we can put her through some tables or something like that. I really want to feature her on the Fed, whether we keep her in this, in these clothes or this attire, or maybe we can do a fix-up where we get her in, like, more suitable attire for her, but I think that would be great to feature her on the Pick Fed or something, so that would be really cool. But Mae Young is here. She is another collector's edition, another flashback, another collector's edition figure. We have some looks at the upcoming Legend Series 9 Target exclusive Undertaker figure, and this is kind of just a re-release of the Elite 23. It's a, you know, earlier 90s kind of Undertaker look with the bangs in the in the face. And you guys can see it's pretty much just an updated, better version of the Elite 23. I like the skin tone we got going here. I like the likeness in the face. The hat looks good. The mask. Uh, it's your simple black and purple attire, but it does look good. It's still a good looking figure. I like everything going on with it. I think this is a better version of the Elite 23. And while they're not the exact same, you know, you still feature both of them in your collection because they're different enough to look good. But it pretty we've seen this before from Mattel pretty much is what I'm trying to say besides this head skull. But the figure does look good. Hopefully, it doesn't have a fidget spinner waist. That's the biggest upgrade that we can make for that figure. But moving on, guys, we have two separate versions of the Elite Series Legends Line 9 Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. Don't know why the hell I said it so weird, but you have the black version which is the regular version and then we have the chase variant version in the silver and pink that will match our toys r us exclusive virgil figure and both of these look good another uh, another thing i want to say is the head sculpts we've seen both of these head sculpts with ted dibiase before now i understand that you know while it's been a while since we've had ted dibiase i still think that you know it'd be nice to see some newer head sculpts for these guys and it really doesn't look like true effects has been applied they may have been but i still think that this looks just like the head sculpt from back in the day so they may just have a you know they may have just just reprinted that head sculpt there. Well, it's obvious that they did with the Million Dollar Championship briefcase. It, I still think the suit looks really good. I like the pink and stuff. Maybe I'll have to put my own figure on that on that silver body right there. Put my own head sculpt on that silver body and then have that as my My Damn Nation attire or something so I can have, the, you know, like a sexy MDT jacket to wear for that show because I think that, that would look really beautiful. But anyways, Ted DiBiase does look good. You get the choke slamming style hands and you get the mic holding hands, which look pretty nice. And then the last figure that we have right here, guys, is going going to be next up is going to be wwe legend series 9 target exclusive nikolai volkov this figure looks fantastic i think this is the second nikolai volkov we've got it may be our third but this really captures his likeness they did a really fantastic job on this i think this is a pretty much perfect figure from head to toe you guys can let me know down below i like the jacket i like the hat i like the attire the head sculpt is phenomenal kind of looks like jason kidd to me i don't know that's just the jason i'm just getting jason kidd vibes over here gonna go dunk on the rest of the the wwf but nikolai volkov is looking good i like it I like it a lot. I think for some reason I'm feeling that we're going to get some more reveals here in the next few days. I don't know. That's just the cusp of what I'm feeling. It could just be random, man, but that's just how I'm feeling. We'll just have to see about that. If you guys missed out on Vindication last night, I did post it. It went live at 7. We watched it like a live premiere show. I had a lot of fun with everybody in the chat. Watching you guys' reactions was fantastic, so I really appreciate that. If you guys missed out on Vindication, please give it a watch. I'd really, really appreciate it. But I am going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I might be putting up some stuff later on on eBay. I'm still trying to mull it over and get through everything. Also, also going to go uh, over to Brad's house because we're going to finish up some touching up of the script so I can get immediately started on the rest of the shows. 
because I want them to follow suit really, really quickly, and I don't want it to be months between the shows. I want it to be way, way faster, so we'll see about that. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.